Okay, now that the recording has started, I can jump straight in and tell you it was from Senegal. I, you can look it up who that was, but um, yeah. Who, any announcements from the team? Everest, any of the tutors, any announcements? Yeah, yeah, straightforward. I would like to let them know that the final submission leaks are there, so they can check out, provide some uh, feedback or questions on Friday, instead of probably reaching out tomorrow on Saturday. So this is a great time to go through and probably ask questions as possible today. Great. Okay. Anyone else? Anastasia, I see you online. Carrie, any announcements? We have our non-technical that's due today as well. We'll make sure that that uh, submission link is up. No? Okay. Nothing from my end. Nothing from your end. Okay. Super. So let's uh, jump straight in. We'd love to hear how the week was. Um, and where people are so how the what we what we got done this week what's necessary to uh wrap up and any blockers martin all right uh thank you for the, the opportunity yeah uh for the week it has been good uh, we've learned uh, there's so many things that we've learned from using new technologies that is bvc ml flow uh jenkins uh the use of uh and 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 also the pipeline and versioning of the pipelines and also the data sets so there is uh, many things that uh, were there in learning in the pipeline for learning for learning hello i uh, yeah go ahead yeah yeah there are many things that are in the pipeline for learning and uh, it's been a good opportunity as uh I just mentioned yesterday for us, for somebody to be able to learn, you have to have the mindset that when I'm starting something, it's not easy. So I think with that man, mindset, it has really helped us as our team. And uh, just speaking on behalf of our, of, of our, of our team, uh, we've been able to complete all tasks. Uh, we are just remaining with uh, the non-technical tasks. Uh, and uh, we are hoping by the end of today, we'll be completed with the non-technical tasks. And uh, we've really been enjoying the progress and the and the work that has been done so far. Thank you. Super. And the teamwork, uh, Michael. How did that go, Martin? I'm sorry, Martin. How did the teamwork go? Uh, the teamwork has been uh, extremely great. Uh, we've been using uh, GitHub issues uh, and projects for uh, doing the the tasks. So uh, we it's on for us. We we work on a volunteering basis. So uh, whenever you just feel like there are tasks that there, there are actually tasks that are pending on the tasks list inside the issues. So if you feel like you are, you are, you are ready to take up a particular task, you just take it up. Uh, for me, I'll be notified. There's a way we've uh, configured it so that the team leader can be notified. So I'll actually be notified who has taken up the task and uh, any progress that is uh, the progress uh, at which they are, they are carrying out the task. So uh, for us, that's how it has been working. We have been working with the team management. And so far, so good. We All the tasks that uh, we had set up, we are remaining with just like two. Uh, but uh, those ones were not uh, actually included in that document, in the assignment document. But uh, so far, so good. I think it's a good thing to work as a team. And uh, I'll encourage everybody to be uh, a team player and also a team member. Thank you. Great. So let's let's actually go through with the team leads. Um, so other team leads that I see listed, Nardos, Matilda, Binyam, Gezahen, Jonas, uh, Endowork, Margaret, Tadese. So let's hear from the team leads, Tesfaye, Yedidia, and Malaku. So who's who's next? So Binyam, I see your hand up, but let's see if we can get any of the team leads to, to make a contribution. So your team lead is, uh, you are a team lead. So perfect. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. And good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, you have okay, a good radio good voice. You sound, like, <laughs> you, sound, you sound like you're on the BBC. <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> to give you an update on... <laughs> now, now, you look, now you sound very serious. Now you, <laughs> we've put the expectation. <laughs> you have to, <laughs> it has to be like the radio. Uh, you saved me up, so... <laughs> 
Uh, okay, to give you an update on our progress. Uh, last uh, yesterday, we've been trying to integrate uh, a lot of new uh, technologies into our project, like uh, CML, ML flow in the DVC. Uh, mostly, we've been successful, but uh, now there was one thing uh, that was uh, a bit difficult for us to uh, complete, that is connect the DVC uh, in the Google Drive, because we're using a, a remote repository Google Drive, and uh, we wanted to run a, a YAML file from GitHub Actions, and uh, we've been having a difficult time uh, automatically loading data for, uh, using DVC from our Google Drive. Uh, so that's what we are working on right now. And other than that, uh, from last time, from what, what we, how we were working before the interim report, uh, we've improved some things uh, like uh, the, our task sharing uh, uh, process. Uh, we've created GitHub issues and uh, we've divided up the tasks uh, quite well this time. And we intend to complete all the tasks before uh, the deadline. Uh, so uh, our team uh, uh, spirit is growing and we're working much more closely and uh, uh, effectively. Excellent. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Matilda, do you want to report back? You just joined. Welcome. Uh, could you report back on group two? Quick update on your progress and uh, any blockers. Matilda, can you hear me? Or somebody else from group two, if Matilda is not able to speak. We have Abba Salom, Abu Bakar, and Jeremy. But I'd love to hear from Matilda as a group lead. Okay, while we're waiting for Matilda, uh, we've heard from group four, we've heard from group six. Uh, Tesfai, are you, yeah, okay, go ahead, please. Hello. Hello. Hello guys. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, to give you an update on our part, uh, yesterday's plan was to uh, be ready for the modeling part, uh, pre process the data for the ML uh, modeling part. So, we actually uh, achieved that and also uh, finished the preparing as uh, DVC uh, files. All the DVC files are, are ready. If they need some brush up, we will do that, but they are ready for now. And uh, our uh, today's uh, plan is to finish the modeling uh, using those uh, four, three algorithms. Uh, and uh, we have divided our tasks uh, on the first phase for the A-B testing. We divided into, uh, into four tasks and uh, finished those four tasks and submitted the interim report. For this part, because it's more on uh, one file, we have decided to work uh, on it alone and just come up with what we got and uh, discuss on it and decide which one is correct, which one is correct answers and uh, which one uh, who did well. So we will put that on the GitHub. So yeah, the, that's our status. Why, uh, why did you take that on. approach? That's an interesting approach. Everyone does their work and then you choose who, who works best. Do you have enough time to do that? Why did you choose that approach? Yeah, so uh, up to now, uh, we had uh, four tasks. You know, the first one was uh, classical A-B testing, sequential A-B testing. There was a setup that should be done properly and mm -hmm. also the EPF part. So we divided those four parts. We done it... Uh, uh, Different people done different tasks and so on. But for for today, uh, for today and tomorrow, there is only one task, uh, modeling part. So instead of uh, modeling only uh, one algorithm uh, by one person, we decided to do four of them. All of us will do that, and uh, we will combine our results and see. Uh, because we will learn uh, as we discuss more on those uh, stuff, and our report will be good uh, after that. So is, so is it to say that each one goes deeper into one of the areas instead of each everyone doing everything? Yeah, is yeah. that your approach? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, if I can ask any question. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so uh, I was doing a linear regression model. Mm -hmm. uh, so I found that uh, two ways to do the linear regression model. One is using the, uh, what was it, stream? Stream uh, something, uh, it's, the module is called stream something, and uh, the, the other one is called the FK learns uh, logistic uh, linear regression model. Mm -hmm. So I use both of them and got two different results. I'm not sure which one I could take before we discuss it with the team. So uh, is there a possibility that uh, we could get a different uh, results at the end of the day? So maybe Musa can unmute and let us know what he thinks. You have a bell's also on the call, but let's hear from Musa. Musa, are you there? Okay. Uh, you have, uh, you yeah. Have a um, I think it's again. It's yeah. I'm I'm not sure what the other one is, and in principle, you know, you you stats are model. searching for uh, a parameter. Stats model. Huh? Stats model is stats model. model. Yeah. Stats model dot API. Yeah. 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 So most likely, so what happens like if you know the steps that are that that are executed to give you a model, you know, what does it do? First is first the model itself. You know, when you say like logistic regression, it's just you have to write the model. What are the things that are being modeled? So it could just be, of course, like you have a linear parameters, but it could also be taking into account some other, some other kind of fudge factors and you know some other parts in the equation. So you have to know which you know the type of equations they are modeling. Second, it's also how they are modeling, right? So in a way. The, the you know the best way to know whether you are comparing apple to apple is to know whether their modeling is kind of like the, the equation they are modeling you know usually when we say linear regression you're basically writing the features as some x y z and then the coefficients to them which will be alpha one alpha two alpha three for example alpha x alpha y, alpha z and then you're trying to fit some kind of uh, those values, the values alphas, the unknown values. So in that process, of course, even how you, the steps that you are taking, the optimizer, for example, that you're taking to fit those values could give you different, because if, it, if they are using different, even if you run the same algorithm sometimes, and unless it's converged, you might not get the same result. But it's good to really open up exactly like that, you know, Right now, it's confusing because you may not see it the the black box. You see it as it treated as a black box. But if you really see the equations that they're modeling and the optimizers they use to find those parameters, then you'll be able to see easily to reason like this. Does that does that make it clear? Yeah. So I will search a little bit and choose exactly. One. Just yeah. especially write the equations. It's very important if you could write it even in your report or whatever like okay this is the equation the logistic regression equation that scikit is using because you can get it from the documentation or even from the code itself you know just if you, if you search help for that code you'll be able most of the time they give the equation there and the same you can do for the um, stats model and you will probably know then whether one is using some kind of monte carlo for search of the parameters or some other method so that would give you you know, a roughly good idea. Okay. Thank you. Great. Okay. So let's go to Jonas Tedesse, group five. And then next up will be Nardos for group one. So Jonas, as you join late, uh, just how things are going and uh, any blockers. And especially we'd like to hear about progress and progress with the team. Okay. Sorry. Uh, it's because my internet was not uh like good like that's why it's, i uh, was fine. late no, no uh so we okay so about uh, my team progress then we uh how, like we have started the task two so yesterday was uh we managed to set up the dbc uh, like framework so 
to our uh, repository, then uh, we Jonas, I think we lost you. Jonas, we, lo we lost you for about 20 seconds there. So you were talking about setting up your DBC? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you now. We lost you for 20 seconds. You were talking about setting up your DVC. Okay, so why don't we uh, move on? So Abel, do you want to report back for your group or can we ask Nardos to report? Uh, she just left the meeting. Yeah, okay. I, I Abel, can. go ahead. Okay. Hello, thank you. Uh, we met yesterday and uh, we have been able to finish the ML part task two. Uh, partly, we are left with ML flow script dockerization and setting up the ML flow setup. So we are, we are about to finalize the remaining parts and start to report writing as soon as possible. Uh, the yesterday uh, we, got, we got a blocker when working uh, with data version control tagging name. Uh, uh, after we divide the data into platform based and browser based. We get some tagging name here that says uh, this is not a legal name, a legal tag or revision name. Uh, and we are, we are about to figure that out today. And we divide the, the tasks among us, uh, 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 the whole project into three peoples. Then we're continuously doing our parts within uh, our branch. And when we were done with uh, our work, uh, we merge, we merge it to the main branch. Uh, that's how we do the project. Okay. And so far, the group work is working. Um, is it working successfully? Yes. Yes, I can say that. Okay. Excellent. You, uh, Jonas. I'm back. Uh, can you hear me? Welcome back, Cube. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yesterday we uh, managed to set up the DVC and the ML flow, then uh, started doing the uh, ML modeling uh, task 2.2. So, we will have a meeting after this uh, standard to update our progress. And uh, blockers were installing the DVC and the ML flow. It was uh, like my pro blocker, uh, it was uh, the version of Python that I was using. It took me a while to figure out that. Yeah, we've lost you somehow. Okay, so Jonas, we'll keep going. Maybe you can type up your response or if someone else in the group is able to report back. Your connection is uh, up and down. Let's go to group four to Gizahen. Is Gizahen here? If not, then uh, Daisy, Pikma, Amon, can somebody report back on group progress? Group four, Daisy, Gizahen, Hikma, Amon. Um, I can go. Um, Kesahin had asked to be excused. He went to the hospital to get his eyes checked. Um, oh, no. Okay. He was going to be back on time. So um, this has been a good week for my team. We had we had a few hitches figuring out the uh, team dynamic because at some point, I think some of us felt like we were under the pressure of time. So you find that we hired so much into um, the tasks. But after the Wednesday stand-up, I think we met, um, we convened, we convened and like distributed our strategy all over again to make sure that uh, everyone is able to be a team player and to just like do the tasks that they have been assigned. So yesterday we were able to uh, start working on task two, implementing BBC, um, ML flow, and CML. Um, that was my part, um, and for the algorithms, we were able to split them amongst the remaining um, team members. 
So we will be meeting today after the standup just to exchange notes and learning points um, and to address any blockers after which we are hoping to like work on the reporting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. And just to remind everyone, reports have to be done individually. Just as a reminder. We, collaboration is fine, but everyone must submit their own report and it has to be their own report, not just the same report as everyone else. Even if you're working on the same code, you have, everyone must do their own report. But that sounds good. Uh, group, uh, that was group, uh, what number was that? <clears throat> that was group four. Um, Abbasalom, you have a question? Abbasalom? You put your hand up. Abdesalam, you can go ahead. You're on mute if you're speaking. Otherwise, next we would go to group seven. No, we can't hear you. You're on mute. I can see the mute icon on your thing. On your, what is the thing? The square. Okay, now you're gone. Um, so that won't work. Endowork, is Endowork here? I don't see her name here. Otherwise, Didier or Biruk, could you report back on your group progress, please? Uh, hello. Uh, Hi, good can morning. You, can you hear me? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, in, my, in our uh, uh, group, we initially tried to divide the tasks yeah. and uh, we are working on... Uh, the task we we, we, we take. Uh, in the beginning, we were doing very well, and uh, we already uh, submit uh, our task on time. I mean, the interim on the interim report. Mm -hmm. But after that, uh, two of uh, we 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 miss uh, some kind of convenient time for discussion. We had actually uh, some uh, some uh, usual. Uh, uh, discussion time we, we, we decided but uh, yesterday we we can't make it uh, I think both of my friends they were uh, uh, face some kind of personal uh, thing and we, we, we can't uh, discuss on our progress mm -hmm. so I just try to uh, uh, proceed by, by myself just to complete what, what I have uh, taken and I have completed already what I uh, what what I should uh, complete, uh, and today I hear from one of my group that we will have some uh, discussion afternoon. So I am waiting for that, and that's, that's where we are. Okay. No, thank you for the update. So I would recommend that your group reaches out to um, Mary and or Everest because it might help to have a maybe someone to just get you guys not to make sure that you stay on track it's now friday losing one day is it's difficult um so you have to meet as soon as possible and i think if one person is doing part of the work good but you need to you only have six days to do this task and losing one day is a significant loss it's basically 15 percent of your time so you need to uh the group your group needs to meet right away so i would ask that the three end of work gta and biruk reach out to Mary and to Everest and let's, uh, yeah, we're also there to help and to moderate. So yeah, please reach out and let's schedule that uh, right after this because you need to get back on track. Thanks, okay. Yeah. We will. Great, uh, group eight, uh, Ella, Margaret, Margaret, you're here. Could you give us an update on your team? And after that, we'll go to uh, Abbas Salom. Um, hi everyone. So me and my team are faring on okay um yesterday we managed to install the um the dvc and ml floor and get it working so we always have our meetings after after the morning um huddle so we we uh, so for today we're going to discuss the next steps after uh the ml floor that is um, the modeling part of it and yeah that's been my team okay sounds positive um abbasalam are you back yeah okay How are right, you doing? do you want to report back on group two please okay 
Uh, uh. I can't hear you. Abyssalam, I can't hear you. I don't know if you're speaking. Okay, we'll go to group nine in the meantime. Tedese, Tedese, could you give us an update on group nine, please? I thought I saw Tedese. Hello, hello. Hi, Tedese. Good morning. How are you? Very well. And you? I'm fine. Uh, we are with uh, Nahum Bekele, with Titas Wachira and uh, Sam Rawit. Uh, and uh, we are working on it. Just uh, first, we have buzzed on doing uh, the things in which manner we will manage. But uh, yesterday, the tutors uh, the briefed group for us. Made the experiencing. Hello? Yeah, Abyssalam, let's let Teresa go ahead and you can go afterwards. We lost you in the middle for a good minute. So Teresa, please go then, ahead. Then, and then, we'll... then, then we decided uh, to work on one repo by, uh, for that manner, uh, Titas created the repo and we are, uh, he added us as a contributors and we have splitted the tasks to each group and uh, we are working, uh, pushing to that repo. But uh, them, I hope, uh, I think um, the mistake we made this yesterday, uh, we have created another uh, uh, another uh, uh, repo, but uh, it says uh, it, we should work on a single repo. We will back to it, uh, but just we are, uh, we have done almost uh, B testing, so you can just testing and uh, we are working now by uh, distributing the machine learning and uh, ML, MLOps uh, one to each other and we are working on it and uh, preparing our document parallel to our coding tasks. That is our Okay, sounds status. positive. Any blockers? Did I say any blockers? Okay, so I'm going to assume no. Um, uh, let's try Abbasalom again, and then last after that we'll go to group twelve, and I think then we've covered all the groups. Abbasalom, maybe I'm saying you're... so. Let's try somebody else from the group. His connection is not working so well. Matilda, is Matilda here? People are dropping in and out. Matilda, I don't see Matilda. Uh, Jeremy, I don't see Abu Bakr either. Is Jeremy to show me here? Yeah, okay, Abba Salam, go ahead. Okay, oh, sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay. Uh, so, like I was saying, uh, we were managed to install the appropriate uh, packages and we were divided uh, a task uh, to tackle individually. Also, we were facing challenges of uh, power outage and uh, internet uh, connection. So that was uh, challenging for most part of the week, but we managed to push forward. So today we're, we're going to be working on the task 2.1 and 2.2. So that's the update of my group. And any blockers from your side? Uh, not yet. Great. Okay. Group 12. Okay. I see two people online. Uh, Salam or Tewodros. So Salam, why don't you go ahead? Okay. Um, yesterday, actually, uh, we didn't communicate uh, with Google Meet, but uh, we tried to communicate uh, uh, with, with Slack and uh, we managed how to set up our DVC and uh, share some knowledge on how to set up the email flow and uh, uh, we planned uh, the, the today uh, we are individually looking into how we can do uh, tasks going to and i hope uh, we are going to do it soon okay so i think have we covered all the groups i believe we have group 11 typed group 10 we heard from group 9 we heard from group 8 we heard from 7 we heard from a 6 5 Four, three, two, one. Okay, I think we heard from all groups. 
Um, so I wanted to just ask for those groups that feel like they're working really well, what's one thing that, uh, why is it working well? So just somebody unmute or you can type, what's one thing that um, is actually making things work well? Because I think getting oh, used to... Hi, Rafa. Hi, Rafa. Hi, Rafa. Yeah, we can, can you hear me? We can hear you and someone else. But we'll go ahead. Yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> because it's my grandma uh, house, so we yeah. are here today. <laughs> she she can join the stand up too, no problem. <laughs> okay, so um, for me, I see that um, our group is working well. I'm in the group with Martin, Eden, and Kevin. Yeah. So. So I why? Just... What's what's one thing that's making it work well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think it's working really uh, good because, uh, um, like, you know, this, there is someone like Martin, I see he have a strength in the technical and he like really willing to share by all of his what he can. Like, uh, mm. you see the support that I get from him. It's really huge. And uh, this, uh, like, if just any group, they support each other the way that um, they did for me, I mean, and then also I gave So the, uh, it's like really great. Like, um, and I, of course, I will just do my best also to do so. Um, so I will, I will just, yeah, point that as a advantage, a really great advantage. Okay, so collaboration and each person focusing on what they're strongest on and helping others. Great. Can we get one or two more? Yes. Um, no, from there. other groups. From other groups. <laughs> yeah, thanks. One or two more from other groups. What's working well? Because these are the. This is what we want to also do to share lessons about what's working well. So there must be at least one other group that's working well. No, I mean, if not, this is a disaster. I mean, you sound people sound happy. Not everyone, but hello, Stella. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I hope that you can hear me. Uh, so. Well. For me, I can't, I can't hear your grandmother. <laughs> uh, so what's sucking for me in the group is that um, whatever I'm not understanding, I have someone who um, is, uh, is actually uh, doing it well. So uh, I have the opportunity to like learn from someone else and actually get insight on how best... Uh, you can work through uh, the tasks. Sometimes uh, you you go through the 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 task that you're supposed to do and you don't really understand what it means. So it's really nice. Um, and also the project being very big, we've been able to divide it in a way that um, everyone is just working on a small part and uh, bringing our minds together and collaborating. Is perfect. Sounds excellent. Okay, let's take one more. So collaboration, people sharing. Um, what I'm hearing from both groups is that the welfare of the overall group is more important than um, the welfare of the individual. But I think that really works if everyone has that same sense. So those are two similar points, but very useful. Well, let's take one more. So this is a stand-up. We want to collaborate, um, and it's important for us to share. So I'm going to wait until we get one more person, um, one more group to contribute. Otherwise, I'm going to start singing. Come on, guys. Let's get one more. Daisy? Daisy? Um, hi, Arun. I would have loved for you to keep waiting and sing for us. But... No, you wouldn't. I mean, wait until it... <laughs> it, would have broken, um, it would have broken the algorithm. Lol. Um, <laughs> lol. You can't I... say lol. lol is... <laughs> this is next level millennials. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. 
Um, as I was saying earlier, I think my team um, had not really grasped the whole um, team um, team I, ideal nicely at the beginning. But I think after hearing from different groups and how they were doing it, we were able to reconvene. And I think what worked really well for us was the ability to reconvene from time to time. So say you've been able to push something or you're struggling with something. Like I think I was the cause of so many merge conflicts. Um, I think Amon calls me the queen of merge conflicts. Um, but every other time that happened, we're able to just meet and um, Gezahin would walk me through exactly what was happening because at times you're doing it, you don't know it's a mistake and like um, the implications of it. So I think it's just willingness, that willingness to correct someone um, and not, like it's not correcting them and you making them feel bad for their mistake. It's correcting them with the intention of them to actually um, do it better. And what really stood out for me was that I think eventually we all gravitated towards like, um, what do you think you're so good at that you can handle and you wind up doing that. Um, but it's not that you're doing it alone entirely. You're able to still report back to the group. So say you worked with Linear Regressor and I worked with XGB, we're able to like meet and exchange notes later. So yeah, it really helps what you're able to turn around. Excellent. Okay. And I want to just take one point out of that and highlight that. I think one of the reasons, one of the common threads among well-functioning teams is when there's respect um, between colleagues for each other. And if it, one person is strong in one area, but taken another way, if, that, if somebody is weak in an area, they are still deserving of our respect. And if that respect is maintained, it means that the team uh, works better. And that means that if somebody's not available, you have to also respect the other person. What does it mean for those people who are not available? So as a, each of you, when you go out to work, will have to work with teams. If you can inculcate or develop that respect for your colleagues and recognize just because you are ahead in one area uh, as compared to him or her, it doesn't mean that that person is not making his or her contribution. That respect is uh, foundational and essential and I believe in a very selfish way will make your team and therefore your result better. So, okay, I'm glad to hear that we had these. Um, last announcement I'll make, and I think then I think Yevabel wanted to do an open Q&A session. He's online um, from seemingly the quietest place in the world because he's been unmuted the whole time and I haven't heard a peep. So he's apparently in a cave or somewhere quiet. Um, no, 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 I, I, Muted and it would be the same, right? You know, it's amazing. It's, it's impressive. Really, yeah, it's very quiet. <laughs> so today the leaderboards are coming out. And so I wanted to emphasize why we do the leaderboards. The leaderboard is not, everyone that's here is, we feel so far, as far as we can see now, you are on track. On track for what? On track for being job ready by the end of the training and at the end of the supported job search phase. Um, and as we get more information, as we keep going on week on week, we will have enough information and we will work with each and every person to say, you need to work a little bit more in this area, you're doing super well here, um, and we will work with all of you here. So the point of the leaderboard is not internal competition. The point of the leaderboard is to give um, an additional point of feedback for those people who are doing super well. Um, so I want everyone to keep that in, um, in the back of their mind. We are not here to compete with each other. Um, the leaderboard should be taken as when I applied for university in Canada, there was a test that you could take. And what they said was, if you do well on this test, it helps your application. But if you are not doing super well, it's not, it doesn't say anything against you because it's a bit of a, it was an additional math test. And I would encourage everyone to look at the leaderboard um, in the same way. If you're doing well, then pat yourself on the back and say, look, I need to keep doing what I'm doing. And this, these are the areas in which I'm doing well. But if you are not uh, at the top of the results, I wouldn't, uh, I don't want to hear people fret or to feel bad. I, this morning I had a discussion with my, uh, with two of my kids and one of them said, look, I did really bad in a sports event on the weekend. I think I'm going to give up the sport because if I came 10th, then there's no point. And I was so frustrated because he missed the entire point. The point is not if you come first or if you come 10th, he's not aiming to be an Olympic level athlete. But if he takes this 10th result as a reason to stop doing the sport, he's missed the entire point. And so I don't want anyone here to have a similar approach where they think, 
if I'm not in uh, rank one, then I'm not on track. That's actually uh, not the correct way to look at it. Take a positive result as further encouragement or as a sign that you're doing well, um, but let's wait and we will give everyone more detailed feedback as the weeks go on um, when you need to, in which areas you need to put additional effort. So any questions there before I before we finish the stand up? Silence. It's a very quiet group. I need to adopt Mary's community building session and have interesting questions. Not one question. Everyone's happy. Okay. Super. So then uh, I guess we stop the recording and then start it again. And Yevabel uh, is going to continue.